Hey guys, it's us right and today we are doing Itsy versus Itsy. I got my friend's bag here. She said she wasn't interested at all in what was in her bag. Wasn't anything she liked. This was her first month. She's hoping next month will be a whole lot better. And if you don't know what Itsy is, it's a $10 subscription. It comes monthly and you get like samples but it's good to try out a lot of different varieties of type of makeup and skincare and hair care and all this other stuff instead of buying the very expensive stuff where it's 20 30 40 some dollars sometimes higher and it's better to sample it out before you end up spending those big bucks but I'll show you what's in my bag first now mine didn't come with one of the cards like the little booklet tells you everything that's in it blah 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 I got one of these and it says share this card with someone who could use a little love want more ipsy blah 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 buy products we pick out to make the world more beautiful okay this month I got to choose what I wanted in my bag and as much as it sounded kind of gross, but very intriguing, I was very curious about the snail cream. I mean, the container's really cute. It'll go on my makeup tree, which is done, but we'll have to, won't be out here until I finish a few other things. Anyways, uh, it absorbs very quickly. You don't need a whole lot unless you have dry spots and certain areas you might actually have to put a little bit more because it'll dry too quickly before you actually cover that area it don't smell like snail snot <laughs> it's, it's it's nice it's not bad I'm gonna continue using this to see if it helps but oh oh that was just me and me miss but I three-fourths of a jar and I only used what little bit I had on the lid not bad I do I did get some of the snail masks after I chose this from I believe Miss A site I haven't tried them out I'm still working on trying out my masks and do a big monster vlog with those all right next we have yeah, I'm not even going to attempt it. It's a treatment mask and smooths evenly through smooth yeah, smooth evenly through hair, combing with fingers if needed. Is a restorative healing mask that's formulated to repair damage in minutes. Actually, I did try it. I had to go rewash my hair this morning. I barely used any. My hair is like crazy hair and my ends get really really dry from about here down but from here up it gets oily. Well that line is kind of a faded situation around my head and because this touched an area that was oily, normally oily, it made it much much worse so I'd suggest this for somebody that's got really 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 dry hair because this this wasn't good on my hair it still feels gross even though I washed it again this morning next we got a scone blending brush I'm not too much into this one. I mean, it's a brush. We all like brushes. It's nice to have extra in case we're not washing them all the time. But do I blend this somewhere else? Because the only thing I know of a blending brush this size would be on the eyes. And these bristles are way too long. I mean, that's, that's too long. I like the ones that's probably about three-fourths of that size. 
this is so wispy and I couldn't blend out my eye makeup at all with it like I'm sitting there going at it this it's not happening so maybe that goes for something else remember I'm still new to this next I got the tart or tartiest lip paint and I believe it's in delish it's what's on my lips now I'm tired of getting these colors give me a light light pink or give me different reds or even purples I'm willing to go that far but these brownish mauvish nude colors like this I don't like it it's fine to have one but I just counted up all of them when I was in the house and since the beginning of this year I have 10 of this collar but it does have some staying power to it I'm not big on the whole it turn a matte I know a lot of people love the whole matte lipstick situation but this I'm not I'm one of those people I want I want some gloss to it. I don't want it like super glossy and where it feels like I just rub jelly on my lips. I, you know, something that keeps it smooth. This made my lips look like it had a bunch of wrinkles because it dried so, so bad. But that's fine. I also got the Goddess Gold INT Cosmetics Eyeshadow. And I have it on my lids, but my light is horrible, so even if I did a close-up, you probably still wouldn't see it. That's what it looks like. It's like really a nice golden brown, light brown color. It's, it's like it's got a little pink hue to it. And of course this light is horrible if somebody knows a better lighting situation let me know like comment down below I need all the help I can get uh yeah I'll just wipe that there actually good jeans today your figure all right and my friend's ipsy bag which I don't think I showed you this bendable. Hers would bend, but she got an actual, ew, I got makeup on her bag. She didn't want it anyway, so this will probably go in my mystery box, one of these bags. Okay, not this one, because I already got makeup on it. I'd be nice. Give you the one without the makeup. But it's got the local things in it. Now hers came with one of the little booklets. You know, to tell you what you got and all that. I don't know why mine didn't. And of course, to sit in a company that does prices. I wish they did. It'd make it easier. We're going to start off with she got the same tardiest tart lip paint as me. Delish. She's got darker skin than me and she tried on some of mine and it it didn't do so well so she's going back to try to fix her profile and see if maybe next time she can get something better she's gonna make sure she gives us a bad review <laughs> maybe that'll help I've read that in comments she also got the deep repair aloe vera jasmine deep repairing conditioning treatment Hydrating formula moisturizes, softens, and corrects. Dry, damaged hair protects color and use weekly. And you put this in your hair post shampoo, slather it in this on for about five to ten minutes to amp up the effects. Pop on a plastic shower cap and wrap your hair in a warm towel. The heat helps the ingredients soak in. I will give it a try. 
and I will try to stay a little bit lower than the line and see if that helps. So, I can be a butthead sometimes and forget to show you guys, I'm sorry. She also got the Pure Facial Oil Marula. Give me simple names. I'm serious. We don't need these fancy names. Give us something simple. I mean, the more people can pronounce it, the more they'll remember it. If you give them something that's weird, that name's gonna go boop. But it's a little tiny bottle of oil and it says how to use it. You can use it as a cleanser, a serum oil or treatment, moisturizer, or a sunscreen. What? Alright, it hydrates, smooths, and reju rejuvenates skin. Uh, da -da 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 it's like a multivitamin for your skin. P.S. Don't worry about potential pimples since the oil is plant-based, not mineral. It won't clog pores. I'll give it a try. My skin is combination skin and it does like to break out. Now we did try this and I got a little upset about it because I've been wanting to try this out and this is the pure discipline Appearing Ink Form 1 Concealer. It's in medium, so it would be for her skin tone, but I tried it anyways. And once I put on my foundation, you don't even see it. It brightens, brighten and blur the spot with skin perfecting complex, or I can't read any of this. Anyways, I put just a little dab, one little squeeze. And that's all I had. There's nothing left in the tube. Like seriously, this tube is the size of my pinky. And one squirt was all I got. I don't know what to do about that. I mean, a bottle this size just to cover up, you know, acne or scars or Anything you want to conceal on your face, it's not a whole lot you're going to be using. So this probably would have took four or five times of using, and I could have actually seen if I liked it. That was disappointing with the amount that was in there. Sorry, that's a one-time chance. No. Then I got the Dirty Little Secret blush, and I believe it's in Kitty Pink. Which I didn't mind it. Even though I thought it was going to be a little too orangey for my skin tone. That light is really making me mad. Cause some days I get it perfect over there. Some days I don't. But it's got like a peachy orange pink color going on. right there. I don't think you can see it because I can barely see it in the camera. Hopefully when I go to edit it shows up a heck of a lot better than that. Alright, that is all we have in the Ipsy boxes or bags. Um, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Hopefully you're not going through snow like I am. It was beautiful this morning and as I'm sitting on my porch I look out and I see it starting to snow. I know it's March I know it's winter. Doesn't mean I have to be happy with the snow. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!